Remote access is important for any security system, and if you have a Uniview camera or NVR, you are in luck because Uniview's mobile apps provide a great viewing experience for anyone who wants to keep an eye on their property from a distance. Hey guys, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about mobile access for our Uniview cameras. Now, before we jump into the app, there are two things that you need to know. First, the method of remote access that I'm going to show you today requires that you have a cloud account set up with Uniview. This is easy to set up, you can do it all from the app, and it keeps things a lot more secure since not just anybody can have access to your cameras without you granting them permission from the app. And second, you should keep in mind that we have two different types of Uniview products. We sell the Uniview retail brand, that comes branded with the Uniview logo, and we also sell the blank versions of the cameras that come without the Uniview logo and with different model numbers. But the biggest difference is that their cloud accounts function on two different servers. If you have one of our Uniview retail cameras, you're gonna be using EasyCloud. The mobile app for this is EasyView. On the other hand, if you have one of our unbranded cameras, these cameras use the Star for Live server, and you're gonna be using the app GuardView. Since these two types of cameras and these two clouds function on different servers, they're not going to be able to communicate with each other. Your Uniview retail cameras are not going to show up on your GuardView application, and vice versa, your Star for Live cameras are not going to show up on your EasyCloud applications. The app that we're going to be using today is EasyView because that's what most people are going to be using. But if you use GuardView, just know that everything we talk about today is pretty much going to be the same for you too. It just looks a little bit different. Now that we have those two things out of the way, let's jump right into the EasyView application and check out some of the features and functions that are available to us. So when you open the EasyView app for the first time, it's going to make you uh, read and agree to the service agreement. And the first thing that you'll see is this username and email or phone number section. Now this is where you can either log into your existing EasyCloud account or you can click sign up down here if you don't already have one. Uh, I am going to sign up with a brand new account just so you can see what it looks like because if I log in with my own account, you're gonna see a bunch of cameras on there already. So let me try it with a uh, phone number here. And then once you put in your number or email, it's gonna send you a code for you to verify. Um, it does want to be able to find devices on your network. Yes, we'll let you do that. Click next. Now you're gonna create a new password. I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a exclamation point. All right, and once you log into your new cloud account, obviously you're not gonna have any devices to see because there's nothing associated with your account. If you log into a, a pre-existing account, you are probably gonna see some devices here uh, already loaded. Again, that just makes things easier. Everything being connected to your Easy Cloud account, uh, that means no matter what device you log into, if you get a new phone, if you uh, log in on your computer, you're always gonna see the same list of devices here. Uh, really handy and convenient. But for now, let's go ahead and start adding some devices. Uh, before you do this, there are some steps that you need to follow. Uh, you need to log into the camera or NVR that you want to add. You need to go into the network settings and click Easy Cloud. Be sure that Add Without Sign Up is disabled to prevent just anybody from being able to access your camera feeds and enable the Easy Cloud. So since this is a multi-device application, you can add multiple cameras, multiple NVRs to this thing. I'm gonna show you with a, a camera that I have set up here in our production room, as well as an NVR that has a, a couple additional cameras on it. Uh, to add devices, we're gonna come over here to our menu, click on devices, and click add. Now we can manually add through uh, entering the IP address. We don't wanna do that because if you add the IP address to your app, you're only gonna be able to view and manage that camera or that NVR while you're on the same network. What we wanna do instead is click scan, give it access to the camera, and we're gonna scan that QR code that's on the same network settings page where you enabled EasyCloud. All right, now you can see that that has populated our app here with the register code. And uh, all we have to do is click save to associate this camera with our cloud account. 
Cameras cannot be added to multiple cloud accounts. So if this was already on somebody else's account and I try to go add it, it wouldn't let me. So again, that's just another way to increase security, make sure that nobody has access to your cameras that you don't want to have access and just makes things a lot more streamlined. So we have my devices added here. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this from my devices to turret. This is the turret camera here in our production room. While that is connecting on my phone, let's go ahead and add another device. I'll click scan, and this time I'm gonna go scan the QR code for the NVR. And once again, it has populated that field with our uh, register code. This time I'm gonna change the name before I hit save to NVR. Click save. All right, let's give this a refresh to see if our devices have gotten online yet. And yes, it looks like both of our devices online. We can see the red dots up in the corner and the icons have turned blue instead of gray. So we can access the live view by clicking, click start live view, and it takes us right to the live view page. We can double click that image to make it bigger. We can uh, turn the phone sideways to see the full 16 by nine aspect ratio. Just like most apps, it's pretty intuitive. You can pinch to zoom, drag your fingers around to pan. And since this is a multi-device setup, we can come back to our main live view here and to add additional devices to this screen, we just need to click this button, drop down our NVR, and we can add any of these cameras as well. So let's add our wide angle lens from our dual lens PTZ. I'll click the plus. Let's add our PTZ. This is uh, from the same camera. Both of these views are from the uh, dual lens PTZ. And here I'll add our third camera and we're good to go. All four of these devices are now set up on our live view. Even though these are not from the same NVR, these three views are, but uh, this view is separate. Nonetheless, we can view them all and manage them all right here from the app in real time. So let's take a closer look at this live view and to, to see some of the functions that are available to us here. As you might expect, we can uh, take a snapshot here. We can start a recording and we can end the recording just by tapping it again. We can click this button to change the amount of cameras that we're viewing at once. You can see this can go all the way up to 16 cameras for a single playback. Uh, you can have more cameras added to your device, but you can only view 16 of them at the same time. Right now, let's stick to our four images and we can also change the quality. We can change it to medium quality or high quality. Since this is mobile viewing, I always stick to low because I don't usually need a super high quality image when I'm viewing from my phone, uh, but I do prefer speed and stability. You can also start two-way audio here from the live view. Uh, you'll have to give the app access to your microphone. And if the, ooh, okay, let's turn that off. If the camera that you have does have a microphone and speakers, that's how you'll enable two-way audio. The camera that I'm working with right now is right behind me. That's why you heard that terrible noise just now. From the live view, we can also jump right into device configuration. We can also jump into the image settings. We can enable PTZ mode, which this isn't a PTZ, so you can see that that is grayed out. So I'm gonna click on this PTZ view here, and this icon is turned blue. So now we can click it, and you can see that there are these orange arrows on the side of the view, allowing us to click and pan the camera around. We can pan up, we can pan down, it's actually pretty responsive for a mobile app. Usually these are pretty jittery. You can use these buttons down here to adjust the zoom, to adjust the focus. You can add a preset and you can manage presets. Just keep in mind that uh, these presets are gonna be local to your device. Whatever presets you make on the web browser, whatever presets you make here on your phone, those are going to remain separate. Uh, we can also trigger an alarm output here, which depending on how you have your camera set up, how you have your alarm event set up, that can do various things from starting active deterrence lights and sirens, uh, starting a recording to your NVR, whatever might be the case. Playback works just like the live view. We can click playback down here and we have this timeline, uh, assuming that you have either a, a hard drive in your NVR or an SD card in your camera. The NVR I'm using does have a hard drive. So you can see we have blue, which tells us that we do have recordings here and we can use our fingers to zoom into that timeline. We can scroll around as we need to. You can see that we had a, 
We rebooted the camera right there, so we are missing a tiny bit of footage. All right, we can also add multiple cameras here to this. So, uh, well, my turret doesn't have a hard drive. I will add my other cameras in, and we can view playback on multiple cameras all at the same time. So you can see there's no video on these two cameras here. Uh, as we scrub through, now there is recorded footage for these two cameras. Just like from the live view, you can take a snapshot, you can start a recording, stop the recording, change the amount of images that you see, change the quality of the playback that you're seeing, and you can also change the speed of the playback so you can watch this at four times speed to get through your recordings faster, and you'll have a, a really good idea of what was going on at that time. In order to see the screenshots and the video clips that we've been taking, we can come down here to this folder icon and click picture and video, and that's gonna show us the screenshots that we've taken, as well as the recordings that we've clipped. And from here, if we wanna save this to our device, we can do that by clicking this share button. That's gonna open up your phone's uh, share icons, so you can save it to your phone, send it to somebody, do whatever you need to do with it. Or you can just save it directly to your photo album by clicking this icon and giving the app permission to access your photos. You can organize this list by the timestamp, or you can group them into just pictures, or just video clips. Pretty cool. Something else that you can do with your Easy View app is set up different projects. So if you are a security integrator, if you're an installer, if you manage cameras for your clients, you can set up different cameras uh, inside of different projects so that when you go to one client's project, you'll see only their cameras and nothing else. Again, just another way to streamline this, make this app as easy as possible for you to use. So we can add a new project here. We can call this project Nelly's Security. From there, we can add devices uh, either manually. We can scan a new device directly into this project, or if the device is already set up on our account, we can click Move from Other Projects. We can click the default project and select which device we want to move. So let's move this device into our Nelly Security project. And now the turret and the three cameras on our NVR are separated. Now, from the main live view, you still have access to all of your cameras, but for those times that you need to see only the cameras that are pertinent to what you're doing, you do have that project view available. Next, let's jump into the device config and see what we can do in terms of device settings. So this is for the NVR. We can change the time. We can uh, mess with the alarm settings. We can adjust the storage and we can restart the alarm or we can also click this plus button to adjust the individual channels in the MVR. So for instance, if I click that wide angle lens, you can see we have access to adjusting the image settings, we can change the device name, and we have even VCA detection settings here that we can customize. Uh, under VCA detection, we can set up you know, our line crossing detections and all of that. You're not gonna have a whole lot of settings available to you here just because Uniview cameras are so powerful and so feature packed that to put everything inside of one app would be a little bit overkill. If you need to really dig into the settings and adjust a lot of stuff, you're probably gonna wanna do that from the computer, not from your mobile app. But if there's just something quick that you need to change on the fly, uh, something like you need to come in here and change the time of the camera because the time code's wrong, or uh, you, know, you need to turn on WDR, that's all stuff you can do here. Just don't expect a full toolbox for adjusting and managing your cameras. And finally, we can set up alarm notifications here. Uh, you see we have this alert to please tap to enable notifications. So we're gonna allow notifications in our system settings. And once we do that, we just click this allow notifications button at the bottom and we can select which device we want notifications for. So I will select the turret and the NVR. We'll just turn on everything. We can also click advanced settings down here to customize these notifications more. You can adjust the time that you get notifications. So uh, you can set this up only when you know you're gonna be out of the house, uh, only over nighttime, only during the day, whatever time you want to receive notifications, you can adjust that here. You can also change the type of notifications you get. Uh, for instance, I don't want motion detection alarm because that's gonna be going off all the time. I don't want alarm input. Uh, and I don't want others. So I'm only gonna be notified for events and VCA. NVR, same thing. We can, uh, and we can change this per individual channel on the NVR, which is nice. So let's say for the wide angle lens, I want a different notification schedule. 
different notification types. Whereas for the uh, our other camera here, we can give it a totally different schedule, totally different types. Uh, so these notifications are super customizable. I really like the way the notifications work on this app. And you can see in that short time that we've had these enabled, we've already gotten a ton of motion detection uh, notifications for our NVR. That's why I like to turn the motion notifications off, but you know, to each his own. When you do get a notification, you can click here to view the playback. So you can see exactly what was triggering that notification. Uh, you can also click this button to jump directly into a live view. So you don't have to worry about playback if you just wanna see what's happening right now. That is an option as well. Now I know this has been a pretty long video already, but stick with me, we only have two features left. And these next two features are pretty big. Definitely something I don't want you to miss. For this first one, we're gonna come back in here and come to our devices. We're going to click the turret. And you can see down here in these options, we have a little red dot telling us that we have a P2P upgrade. This is one of the best features of the EasyView app in my opinion. Once we click this, it's gonna give us the latest version of our firmware and we can click this button to start the upgrade from our phone. It'll ask us to confirm, yes, we want to upgrade. And now check this out. Our turret is currently upgrading its firmware, which was all initiated right here from the mobile app. Uh, this can be done anywhere in the world. So again, if you're an installer or an integrator, this is great for you to be able to upgrade your client's systems, upgrade their firmware without having to make an additional trip. You don't even have to go searching online for a bunch of zip folders. Uh, and there we go, the firmware was updated. Now the device is restarting. And just like that, our turret is now up to date. We can do the same with our NVR, P2P upgrade. We can see that all of our individual cameras are upgraded to the latest firmware. There's nothing to do for that, but our NVR itself, it does have a, a, a later version. So we can click start upgrade, upgrade. And now our NVR is upgrading to the latest firmware which is really great. The final feature I'm going to show you is how to share cameras with other people. Like I've already mentioned, each device can only be associated with one EasyCloud account. So if you have this set up with your account, nobody else can add this camera to theirs. If you have a spouse, a business partner, your clients, the only way for anyone else to access the camera is for you to share it with them. And this is how you would do that. Again, we're gonna come back to our device list you can see that everything is still offline here. It's in the process of rebooting from that firmware update. But if I click the three dots, you can see in the menu down here, I have the option to share. We can share the live view. We can share notifications. We can share playback information. We can even share the option to configure the devices. So we have a lot of permission settings here for you to set up uh, and dial this in just the way you need to so that you can share this with the right people and so that they have the right permissions. You can either share this directly with a user by entering their uh, EasyCloud username, or you can set up a QR code. Uh, you can give it a password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a exclamation point, and we can generate that QR code. And there we go, anybody who scans this code is gonna have access to the device based on the permissions that you set up in the app. And that is pretty much everything that you need to know about this app. Uh, it's really powerful, it's really functional, it's got a lot of great things going for it. But since Uniview cameras do have so many features, you're not gonna be able to do everything from the app. However, what you can do, you can do really well. It's really convenient. It's a great way to manage your surveillance system and just uh, keep an eye on everything that's going on, even when you are far away from your property. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. You can give us a call, send us an email. Our team of experts is always happy to help you out. Happy installing, and I will see you in the next video.